A video earlier in this playlist showed how to build this particular application here. We can see it has three buttons with the words red, green and blue on and clicking on these will change this particular label to either red, green or blue. Whereas clicking onto this button created another copy of this particular form, another instance, another object. Now the code behind this form is shown here. And we can see that we have four click events, one for each of the buttons that are on the form. Well, if we have a look at the first one, it, it was responsible for changing the label to red. This line of code here in the other click event is responsible for changing the label to green. And this one was responsible for changing it to blue. Whereas this code here was responsible for creating another instance of the form. Now what we're going to look at here is this particular event driven piece of code. Now before we do that, what I'd like to remind us of is this, that it is quite useful to think of a class as shown here. You can see it's got the name Form1, which relates to the name of this class, and it has attributes and it has methods. And quite clearly we can see the methods, well, they're the four click events that are associated with this particular program. Here we can see the code that this video is concerned with. What I've done, I've taken this particular click event here, and I've shown it a little bit larger down here. Look at this code here again. We can represent it by this particular diagram here, which says Form 1 Attributes and Methods. When this program starts, something's got to run first. And if it's a Windows Form application, by default it'll be Form 1. So the look of the execution space will be as follows. We will have an object in it, and that object will be an instance of the class Form 1. What it'll look like on the screen will be, as you can see here, if we click on this button, this code will execute. This line is a declaration of a variable. The variable's name is myObject and its type is Form1. And what this declaration will actually do, it'll create a variable that's capable of holding a reference to an instant of the class Form1. Now I personally like to call this a pointer. This thing is capable, my object is capable of pointing to an instant of the class Form1. In other words, it points to an object. This line of code only actually declared the variable my object. Immediately after this declaration, there's no object in existence that has the name my object. In fact, it's this line here that creates the instance, where it's my object equals new form1. As soon as this line is executed, then we do have an instance of the class form1, or should I say, another instance of it. And this particular instance will have the name my object. And if we view this now with respect to the graphics and the execution space, what we in fact get is this. We get a constructor creating the instance. And if we have a look at this instance, you can see it's got the name my object. And that name is exactly the same as the name I've given it in the code here. Now at this particular point, what the execution space has is two objects. The original one here, which was Form 1, and the one that I've just created in the code here, well I say I created it, the code created it. I was responsible for writing the code. So where is it now? Where is that object? Well it's not in view. We could not observe it on the visual display unit. It is in the execution space and essentially it's in the computer's memory. This line of code here where it says my object dot show that's responsible for showing the object in the visual display unit. So when this line of code executes, we in fact can see that there has been a message between the form and my object called show, as you can see here. So it means that the form must have a method within it capable of responding to this message here. The consequence of a message being passed in this way from the visual basic form one to the object I've created is that it will produce another form as you can see here. 